Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. Last time, we entered Pico de Gallo, and we've been making our way through the volcano, getting ever higher in pursuit of, well, let's be honest, a way through. Last time, we played as Tostado. This time, I'm buying a new costume. We're getting, nope, not the pinata, El Portero. I figured it was kind of appropriate since last time we did a costume that focused on attacks while the throws were weak, we're going to the inverse. So today we're playing as El Portero with super powerful throws, but weak melee damage. And also a really, really fun, well, kind of soccer outfit. And in fact, as we go a little higher here, we've got, oh, that's creepy. I kind of love it. And we've got the trio. Skeletons complaining of joint pain and weak bones? Skeleton cows not producing milk? We must meet the quotas of Kalaka, or Orkalaka will never resurrect our dear Pedro. Tibula, fibula, it's also complicated. You know there are 27 bones in a hand? Their hands are just giant spikes. Maybe if you got your hands dirty for a change. These delicate fingers must be preserved for picking. Besides, some people are just natural managers. On that note, let the inspection commence. Okay, let's have a look-see. This one looks fine. Oh, feisty. I like this one. Oh my, what fine bone structure. Let's see what you can do. He blew up. Great screeching Skeletor. Send these ones off to that wretched forest. Let's stay on track. Next batch! And we destroy one so we can take its place. Yeah, this will go well, won't it? Yes, yes, now this is more like it. Excellent, another fine candidate. Three out of three, I think that's a new record. Wait a minute. Hey, where's your sombrero? Bah! It's that flesh man from the canal! You're proving harder to get rid of than that wild pack of dogs that chased us out of Santa Lucita. Who would have thought a day at the puppy petting zoo could turn so quickly? Meat man, we've wasted enough of our time, or you've wasted enough of our time. We've got prototypes to complete and quotas to meet. Why don't you take our latest creation for a spin? It's time for an arena battle against... Elite Giant Skeleton. Yeah, these guys are cool looking. Also, yes, they can teleport. Ooh, they can also turn around mid-swing of their arm attack. So, you know, be careful of that. Thankfully, it's still dodgeable though. Wait for him to appear. Some little dodging of my own. And... Darn it. I could go Intenso to take him out, but honestly, it's not really needed. And why did you stop? Oh, yeah. You know, this actually is probably one of the worst times I could be playing in this costume, because you can't throw him. Now that I think about it, that's why this fight is taking so long. I was seriously just going, shouldn't he be dead by now? Well, now he is. Right. Yeah, these guys you can see taking, like, no damage from my attacks. Ouch. Taking so many hits. Alright, now, let's see if we can't throw this guy and really see what the difference in damage looks like. Yeah, look at that. Almost half his health is gone now. Let's keep building it up. Okay, good. He appears again. I can throw him. And he's gone. Yeah, that's a fun little arena if you're not playing as El Portero. It was kind of bad for Portero. <laughs> 
Hopefully, it won't be... Oh, right. There's going to be exploders here. Thankfully, I got guys I can throw. Yeesh. Alright. Yes, lay on the pain. There we go. Come on. Yes, give me throws. This costume, let's just say you don't want to use it if you haven't bought the oh, ability that lets you throw enemies sooner. Thankfully, these guys are the one-hit kill ones, not the big ones. Alright, come on. Come here. Aha! Nice, powerful throw took them out in one toss. Hit them all. Be nice. Oh, really? They got their shields back. Well, that's fine. Just keep laying on the pain. This is one of those fights that can take a while because they just keep getting their freaking shields back. There we go. Nice hit there. I seriously love the dashing derp derp because it covers so much distance. And I think, yes, you're dead. Perfect. I'm slightly regretting El Portero costume, but that's okay. Now here we've got another instance where the lava will freeze when you switch dimensions. So you got to take it into account so you can get through the pathways just the way you want to. There we go. Uh, am I gonna... Oh, I squeezed through there. Perfect. Now head up. And... Hey, another one of those purple spots. Again, can't really do anything with that at the moment. And of course, we can't do anything with the red down below us. So, we'll just have to remember these and come back for them. For the moment... Lay the hurt on these guys. Boom. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a fun one. Yes. Keep hitting them as hard as you can. Ah, there we go. Just waiting for a throw. Perfect. Get you off. Oh, darn, his shield came back just in time. But that's okay. There we go. But next, something's coming up. And. Elite Windmill! These are literally, I think, my favorite looking enemies. Just so cool with the dark look. But you know what? Stay over here to the right. Take you out. Keep laying on the front. Okay, you know what? Intenso. With all this damage these guys are doing, I definitely need it. Alright, back to full health. Now, I don't know if you can throw elite windmills. Oh, you can! Perfect! And he's defeated. I love the look of the Elite Windmills. They're so cool. Toss you into the lava. Perfect. Alright, we're doing good. Keep climbing up. And... You know what? I would fight you guys, but not with El Portero. Ooh, here's a fun arena. You need to knock these guys up into the spikes. Best thing to do is up and square rather than the uppercut move. Because your uppercut will launch you upward too. Not what you want. But there we go. Managed to make it through without the spikes coming down and killing us. And hey, I forgot. I was going to buy respawn boost. That's maxed out. And hey, we've got more money. Um, You know what? We've bought a ton of heart and stamina chunks 
Next, I'm gonna power up my special abilities, so we'll save up some money for that. Now this is a cool room. You've got platforms that move up or down depending on whether you're in the world of the living or dead. It's a simple mechanic that's kind of fun, and of course some of them move a lot faster than others. So you use that to play in your jumps and moves. Here we go, we're doing all right. You know what? You go in the lava. Let's see. I wonder if I can... Okay, that was too close to the wall. I'm gonna see if I can't toss him up into the lava. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, his throws go far in this costume. That's a lot of fun. We got a, well, a blocked wall there. We need a switch to break through it. Same thing with this one. Break these open, and maybe we can find a switch. Also, I love, it's kind of a soccer outfit, so you get a rolling soccer ball for his egg costume. Or not his egg costume, his chicken costume. And hey, we've got a couple giant skeletons. Take them out, because I want that money. That sweet, sweet pesos. Ow. You know what? Intenso. And then get knocked on my butt twice. Perfect. Now that they're out, bust our way down through the floor. And hey, we got a switch, which opens up that gate. And it also opens the gate right below us that we saw. A way back up if I should fall down. <laughs> yep, simple little shortcut back up so that you don't have to worry about uh, going through that whole section again if you want. Or if you don't want to. Here we're jumping right in front of its face. But now we head off to the right half. I love this factory looking setting so that, you know, this is obviously where they're making all the skeletons, so it's kind of cool looking take these guys out watch the pipe because it will drop exploders routinely thankfully they're one hit kill ones but they can still be a real threat to you if you're not paying attention like here even if you are paying attention sometimes they just come in so quickly while you're stun locked back here. There we go. Ooh, good. Throw. Ooh, I am needing to intenso. Alright, that's good enough. Come on. One more good hit, and he should be... Okay, there we go. Two good hits, and he's dead. That should do it. No. A couple more. Just a last little bit of aggravation for you to kill off. That did it. And here, we get a new ability. Let's find out what it is. Bust it open, luchador! That was it. That was my last statue. You win, luchador. Here is your final power. Grab onto a wall, and while holding triangle, press left or right to goat fly. This is a fun ability. Good luck, Luchador. So you normally would have gotten this up in the Sierra in the original game, but they moved it down here so you could, well, start putting it to use. It uses a stamina chunk when you use it, but you go flying, and you will fly straight over and stop at any point you hit a wall. 
Now I don't think, no, I don't have 300 pesos yet. Getting close, but not quite there. And here, you got actually a section where you can see, can't make it all the way to the right, so we gotta do some flying. And mid-flying, oh, too early. Gotta do an uppercut to break through. Okay, well, we at least broke the block now, we can. No. Okay, just an interesting point of note, when you're doing goat fly, if you do an uppercut, you uppercut immediately. If you do a double jump, it keeps your forward momentum. And another interesting thing, while well, goat run up a wall will kill, will kill, <laughs> will break red bricks, goat fly will break blue. So, very helpful. Nice stamina chunk, and now we're actually going to move on from this room. Uh, there we go, fly up. And this will teach you a quick little mechanic. If you hit a flat wall, you'll come to a stop. If you hit an edge wall, it will slide you up or down. Simple enough. And here we've got a dangerous looking room. How will we ever get through? Let's fly right through it. Simple as that. Let's head up higher and higher. Now, is some fun platforming. Gotta keep going. Don't touch the buzz saws. You should know that by now. They are not your friends. And we've even got ooh, a couple of them with uh, platforms with spikes. I didn't mean to actually touch that. And as we get higher, more and more with spikes. Come on. Okay, seriously, can I have a normal one? Thank you. Ooh, that was moving a little quickly. There we go. And we made it up past it. Not too bad a room. Here, we've gotten kind of way off track. But, gotta loop ourselves around, so we're going back down. A couple barrels, should only have health in them. And, ooh, but there is a chest. And hey, why not? Let's top off our intent. There we go, another 500 pesos. Now here, it makes you see, yep, you gotta do some goat flying. Fly on through, Juan. Take these out. Perfect. And we made it through now, but awaits us in the next room. It's more lava! This is an interesting one. You have to kind of get the platform up so you can goat fly off of it. Yeah, kind of a neat way to do it. And then head up. There we go. Now let me show what I mean with the goat fly and the double jump. When you start goat flying, yep, double jump propels you forward. Can be useful, but not the greatest for precision jumping. You want to save your uppercut for that. Now here, you want to be as low as possible without touching the lava. Because... There we go, little hidden room with some money. I'll take it. And this should be an arena? Yeah. Take you out. Oh boy. Should probably focus on these chupacabras because I can throw them and kill them instantly once they're throwable. There we go. That's what I should have done. Now I can focus on this guy. He won't be too bad, as long as I can keep him stun-locked. Oops, wrong one. Okay, come on. Stupid exploders interfering. Thankfully, he's pretty easy to hit with a frog drop, and that seems to be the only shield he's got. Yes, lay on the hurt. This is gonna take a while. Oh, now he's got a red shield. All right, you know what? Intenso time. Yes, hit him, hit him hard. Oop. Darn it. There we go. Whew. These are a little almost unnecessarily hard thanks to the Portero costume, but I kind of like the challenge. 
Ah, uh, you guys. Oh, I didn't hit you both. I was really hoping to slam you both from above. Yeah, these guys actually have an undodgeable spin, so kind of a nasty upgrade from their normal cousins. Ooh. And they killed me. Alright, I should focus on one of them to start, not hit him during his spin. There we go. Get a good throw in. Perfect. Oh, he's almost dead. Good. Yeah, once you take one of them out, the other one is not too bad. Come on, give me one more throw. Perfect, that should be enough to kill him. Yes, it is. And I am going to go ahead and head back to this spot. Fill up my health, because I needed it after that fight. And hey, we found another switch. And that opens up the doorway in the giant skeleton's crotch. We're not going to think about it. Instead, we're just going to head down and we're not going inside yet. That is coming next episode. We've been fur adventuring further through Pico de Gallo and who knows what awaits us when we go inside the main area where the skeleton trio went. Okay, we're probably going to find the trio, but we're going to have to beat them up. But that's coming next time. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to click like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys next time.